Good morning, my friends and audience. My name is Edward Wasroom, the tutor in Edward's Academy. This morning, we are going to continue from where we stopped the last time by introducing a new concept which has to do with the structural bricks. Remember, in your previous experience in economics, the word structural break uh, has been looked into theoretically and uh, there has been too many interpretations on exposure on what structural break entails. But today I want to, to look at it from uh, a macroeconomic point of view and also explain to you the dimensions of structural breaks that has ravaged uh, most developing countries and also explain to you and teach you how to detect or identify the period that the breaks occur using the EVU framework. So let's start introduction. The word structural break is an unexpected change over time in the parameter of regression models which can lead to huge forecasting errors and unreliable or unreliability of the model in general. A structural break occurs when a time series abruptly changes at a point in time. These changes could involve a change in mean or a change in other parameter, parameters of the process that produces the series. In econometrics and statistics, a structural break is an unexpected change over time in the parameters of regression models, which can lead to huge forecasting errors and unreliability of the model in general, as I have said previously. So let me explain to you what I mean by the whole of these grammars. The word structural break means the presence or existence of an unexpected changes in the parameter of interest if you look at it from the point of view of a country a break is said to have occurred if for any reason whatsoever the gdp of a country reduced due to war due to pandemic or due to global outbreak of a particular scenario that affects the nation's economy like the period heralding or the period between 2007 to 29 10, 29 and 10 we experienced the world financial depression and that global that global issue affected finances of virtually all countries across the world and as such the gdp of nigeria or other macroeconomic parameters of the country under review at that period will be affected so while running a regression or performing any empirical estimation that has to do with the period under investigation you may observe that the parameter of interest may deviate from normal the deviation in this context could be that the parameter of interest is very low or it could be very high in many econometric estimation the word structural break or the presence of structural break is being misinterpreted because the conventional unit truth text, the conventional pre-estimation test in time series data, always treats structural break like a unit truth problem. And because of the fact that unit truth issues are being treated or structural break issues are being treated like unit truth problems, then the causation or the decision of the appropriate method of study to be adopted for the estimation becomes erroneous. And due to that issue, Whatever estimation procedure that will be accepted when there is a structural break may not actually be the best. So it is expected that while conducting a research in any parameter of interest that require or that the author suspect that there may have been a structural break, then the author need to use more sophisticated unit to testing procedure other than the conventional Philip Perron and ADF to actually check if there is a presence of a structural break in the series but in many cases scholars use 
or use this graph which is normal visualization of the time series data to check if there is a unit truth problem or not but the most conventional means of checking unit truth so that checking the presence of a structural break is to adopt more sophisticated structural break uh, unit truth testing parameters or models that will be able to capture the presence of the break as we proceed further i will expose to you most of these testing procedures so the issue of structural break will have uh, two types of breaks we have the cyclical or the seasonal break and according to what we know about the word cyclical or the seasonal break seasonal break are break that occurs repeatedly over a particular period of time a seasonal break has a pattern a seasonal break has a period it comes you and i know that in in nigeria or in africa we have the rainy season and the dry season while in europe we have uh, other season they have the winter they have the summer but when you when we are talking about a uh, seasonal fluctuations cyclical fluctuation we are referring to a, an event that occurs within a particular period in a year and it occurs virtually every year so if you are exposed for instance people that does business in ice cream or people that does a uh, ice cream business you observe that during the dry season they, they tend to sell more ice cream than during the rainy season so while conducting a study that has to do with the, either the sales profile or the performance of the of, 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 of the ice cream industry then the researcher should be expecting that during the rainy season that the sales of the ice cream uh, section will be lower while in the dry season it will be higher so in a situation where a particular period is very very high that means that a break may have occurred either something may have happened within that period that led to the massive sales of ice cream above other periods at that period you we would need to investigate the day the period the, the, the day the break occurred or the period that the break occurred and the reason behind the break you and i know that break do not just occur but rather macroeconomic realities economic events change in economic activity actually causes structural break and those structural break must be accounted for while running analysis or while interpreting uh, whatever analysis that has been done so it is evidence or it is necessary that researchers should incorporate or try to actually understand what the structural break means when they occur and the reason why they occur and how to go out of it they also have what they call the non-cyclical break non-cyclical break are structural break where there are no repeated pattern in breaks for instance a break that occurs uh, intermittently and it doesn't have a pattern and that kind of break is called non-cyclical break then we have the types of structural break testing parameter or the tools that we actually use in identifying the presence of break in uh, the most fundamental of all uh, uh, parameters of testing breaks is the domain variable test recall in my previous uh, study I actually explained to you what the domain variable means if you need more information relating to domain variable estimation uh, visit uh, uh, ADS Econometrics uh, Knowledge Hub for more information on domain variable. So, secondly, we have the Zevot Andrew 1992 text. Zevot Andrew in 1992 actually developed uh, a unit through testing procedure that enables us to check the presence of a structural break in a particular series. And we also have the bio, the bio, uh, the bio parent text. The bio parent text also enables us to to check the presence of a unit through text by parent test 1989 we also have the two tests of 1960 and finally we have the gregory hansen text of 1996 so this four this five uh, estimation procedure or four of the five estimation procedure are unit truth based tests why gregory hansen test is a structural break uh, in uh, in uh, testing structural break in co-integrating relationship so in my next video i'm going to to look at uh zivot andrew text look at uh, bioparent text i also teach you how to estimate uh the chow test and gregory hansen test one after the other we are going to look at them critically and also explain to you how uh, they are being done thank you for staying tuned to my very short exposition of 
structural brake test. In my next video, I'm going to perform the Andrew 1992 test and also going to proceed with uh, Bioparan and other texts. Thank you and God bless you.